notes we want to cover. So in this example, we want to solve the system W equations. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, last class period or in last example, I showed you to graph each one separately and determine their solution and determine where they intersect. Um, so here I have two equations that are much easier to graph, right? They're already in slope intercept form. Now I did tell you guys to make sure you write them in um, as the slopes as fractions. But let's go and graph these real quick so we can kind of visualize what we have here. So here my y-intercept is negative 5, so I'll go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then my slope is positive 3 over 1. So I go up 3 over 1. Everybody see that? Yes? The next one. Here I have y equals um, x plus 2, so I go up to 2. And again, the slope is the same. So I go up 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1. And do we have a specific intersection point? No. So if you notice, they also have exactly the same slope. So are they ever going to intersect? No. no. So guess what? So when you're doing a problem and you have parallel lines, they don't have a solution. So we write no solution. And if there's no solution, then we do not have a consistent system. We have an in consistent. So when you get a, an equation with parallel lines, you're going to run a right inconsistent. OK? Does everybody say that? No? Does that make sense?